Happy Wednesday, everybody. I'm Amanda Head, The Hollywood Conservative, and this is your Hollywood Minute. I am so sorry I haven't done any videos this week. As you can tell, I'm not home. I'm in Washington, D.C., and pretty much all of my time and energy this week has been taken up with uh, my show. So, um, today's the first day that I've been able to put out a video, so it's a bummer. I hate, I hate when that happens, but anyway. Um, if you're going to CPAC next week, I am moderating a panel on August 4th. Um, so I'll see you there. Um, okay, moving on. So many of you know there have been a lot of turning point events that have happened over the summer. It has been a very busy summer. Of course, that always happens leading up to elections and with the midterms taking place in November, uh, it has been exceedingly busy. Um, so the so Turning Point had their Student Action Summit in Tampa last week. And of course they do straw polls there and Trafalgar was the uh, polling organization that conducted this. And I will say that Trafalgar is one of those organizations that is uh, typically very accurate. Um, I find them to be very accurate. Rasmussen is pretty accurate most of the time. Um, so anyway, Trafalgar Group straw poll uh, asked attendees for whom they would vote if Trump and six other candidates were in contention for the Republican nomination in 2024. Trump garnered an astounding 78.7% of the response, followed by Governor Ron DeSantis, who got 19%. Uh, Governor Kristi Noem was the third most popular uh, with 1% of the response. Uh, former Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, Senator Ted, Ted Cruz, and former UN Ambassador Nikki Haley, uh, and former Vice President Mike Pence all polled under 1%. Now, what's interesting about this is, like I said, the Student Action Summit took place in Tampa, Florida. It, it took place in DeSantis land. Now, obviously kids from all over the country attend these turning point events, but when it's in a state, you, you know, like Florida, especially a free state like Florida, you're, a lot of people are gonna be from that state. So I find it very interesting that in DeSantis land uh, that, that President Trump still got such a huge, huge swath of the support. Uh, I'm not, I, I guess I'm not really surprised. Um, I think that, and I think it was Senator Ted Cruz who just said recently, maybe last night, that when President Trump declares that that's pretty much gonna clear the field uh, for other GOP candidates for 2024. Uh, I was talking to my dad yesterday and we were talking about the prospect of Ron DeSantis running and I said what I think uh, everyone feels or a lot of people feel, which is that uh, if Donald Trump declares candidacy, then anyone else would be a fool to suggest that they're gonna even try. Uh, I think that that would be ridiculous. Now. Let's say Donald Trump doesn't declare. Uh, I would support Ron DeSantis for president. My concern is that we don't know anything about him federally. We don't know anything about his foreign policy. Um, now he's a former military man, former JAG, I believe. Um, so that is awesome. And it's awesome what he has done for the state of Florida. It's awesome that he stood up against Disney and woke culture, but we don't know what his foreign policy looks like. and coming off of another Republican president like Donald Trump, who actually came into office and actually ended wars, we don't want to vote another rhino or rhino light into office who is going to continue propagating uh, these wars and therefore padding the pockets of people involved with the um, military industrial complex. So uh, that's my only concern with Ron DeSantis. Do I think that Donald Trump and Ron DeSantis would run together on a ticket. I think that would be a dynamo ticket. However, they're both very, very strong-headed people. Uh, so I don't know, we shall see. I, I, I am a big fan of Rick Grinnell. He's a friend of mine. He's incredibly smart. He is in, incredibly devoted to this country, loves this country almost more than anything else. Um, and I think that he would be a really great choice, but we'll have to wait and see because that is a long way off, but not that long. It'll be here before we know it, I guess. All right, head over to my website, thehollywoodconservative.us, sign up for my daily emails and go to my pillow and use my promo code Hollywood. See you tomorrow.